Good morning, race fans. Welcome to the Fall Regatta. Well, they're calling it the Fall Regatta, but it's actually taking place in August this year uh, because the Shark Worlds are coming to Whip Yacht Club in uh, September, which is usually when we have our Fall Regatta. So, Shark Worlds are taking precedent, uh, and we're going to go out and have our three races for the Fall Regatta today. So, a uh, little break from the boat hunting and the boat talking, uh, but we're going to talk racing. We're going to do some racing. So, let's go racing. Okay, so to start off with, let's let's go to the Whippy homepage here, and I'm going to pull up the uh, race rules for our Perf Racing. Perf is just a handicap racing system, so that boats of all different sizes and shapes can race against one another. Okay, so let's get to the race course here, and uh, what we have for our club is this Compass Rose that allows us to set up a track regardless of the wind direction. You always want an upwind and downwind leg or legs, depending on how long the race is. So that's pretty handy, and that's what we do. We go up and around the cans and back. That's why they call it can racing. Let's go. Maybe another minute. One thing I hope you'll pick up on as you watch is just how much communication there is on board. Uh, there should be a lot of talking on a race, both a lot of communicating back and forth. It is a team uh, sport. Okay. Then I think that we need to And you got to talk about tacking. Three minutes. So you heard me just call out three minutes there. Let's go. The start uh, clock starts a five minute clock. And you cannot cross the line into those five minutes. What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Yeah, I see it. Is that timing is everything and want the start. You just got to make sure you're not above the start line, or if you are, that you can duck it and come back and cross on time. Otherwise, you got to do a big 360 and everybody is gone and it's super hard to catch up. So what you see us doing here and what the, the yellow boat beside us is doing is luffing our head sail. Two minutes. We're doing that because we don't want to go fast yet. Uh, we want to hold our position and just sort of crawl up to the start. Minute 20. So as the clock winds down, we're going to start tightening in the sail and try to build some speed. Minute 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Time. 
50 seconds. If you're new to this, you might be a little nervous sailing so close to other big boats, but uh, as long as everybody holds their course um, and obeys the rules, you should be fine. Let's run the pin. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Yeah, we're racing. We're racing. We're fucked right now, we're fucked. Sorry about the salty language. If you're gonna race sailboats, you're gonna hear that. Sorry. What I was complaining about is that we were in their gas. We were getting the dirty air off their boat. Um, it's just slower. You wanna get clean air to be as fast as it can be. you'll see now is because our sail trim is good and our angle is good we're just gonna slowly pull away from those two boats um, and that'll be the last we'll see of them for the rest of the race Is that five or six that we're heading to right now? That is six. You're looking at six. Okay. So then five, four will be like here. Four is the target. That's the can we got to get to. That's our windward mark. My job on the boat is predominantly just to be the pain in the ass who talks a lot and uh, the, the freely giving of my opinion, which they can ignore at their choosing. Well, that's what we, we were five three before at, the, at this heading, so this is our this is our spot. good pressure at that mark too. You're getting lifted too, which is nice. What lifted means is it's a wind shift that is going to draw you closer to your destination so you can sail a more direct route because there are no direct routes on an upwind leg. Use the, use, use the lift, use the lift, come up. The opposite of being lifted is being knocked and that's when the wind shift puts you further away from your targets so that you have to, if you stay on that point of sail, you're gonna sail a longer distance. At six, go. Yeah, okay. I don't, I'm asking, it's a question. I think that's a good choice. So that's a reference to can number six. Remember, we're trying to get to can number four, so we're just trying to decide when to tack. It looks like it's good, it's the same pressure. Yeah, I agree. 100%. 
Let's go past the mark. So in this particular yeah. race, we're racing yeah. against uh, four other boats. There was five of us in this uh, class. Um, there was a bunch of other classes, but in ours, there was just the five of us. Um, more distance, maybe, we're really we're just focusing on right one okay. boat, uh, which is a CNC 38, which is uh, very hard to keep up with. This boat we're on here is a beautiful CNC 33 Mark II. Uh, very quick boat, but uh, trying to hang with a 38. It's tough. I would cover. Yeah, you know okay. what? Let's get ready to yep. talk. All right, ready? Three, two, one, tacking. Here we go. What I'm doing there is uh, skirting the sail. In more. When you're on an upwind All your wind, radar re reflector is going to come off, Stan. It's dangling. I don't think it'll come off. It'll just keep sliding down. What I was saying is on an upwind leg, uh, you, you're as tight to the wind as you uh, reasonably can be while maintaining speed. So everything has to be in tight. All the sails are in uh, almost okay, touching the spreader on the head sail. And the, the main is at least centered, if not a beyond. So what I was saying there about beating true wind is that the boat speed was either at or just slightly exceeding the wind speed. And that's because we are generating our own wind, creating what's called a parent wind. Uh, so whenever you can match or exceed wind speed, uh, that's magic. I just gotta say, it was an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, truly blessed to have uh, a, a fall regatta in August. <laughs> I stand. mistake we made over and over again that day is thinking that we could tack with Frenzy, the CNC 38. He can point a lot higher than we can. Um, we didn't learn that lesson until late in the day.
Yeah, it's over Keystone. Keystone. That's okay. We'll be out of here by the time they get up here. Okay. There they go. go. Let's go. Tacking. Trying to cover them, I get it, um, but we we just can't hang. Not not uh, not pointing anyway. That's good. It's trimmed. Mains trimmed. Perfect. We'll make it. Just don't. Not too much pinching. Have I mentioned what a beautiful crew this is? Look at these folks, just gorgeous. Ooh, it's gonna be dicey. It's close, yeah. Perspective is everything, isn't it? There you can see Frenzy's rounded the mark already, uh, and they've started their downwind leg. Uh, we're just approaching Can 4 now, and uh, we'll go around it, and then we'll get set up for the downwind. The downwind in white sail class, which is what we are, which means that we don't fly a spinnaker downwind, is a little bit boring, um, but it's easier. I guess. To assist uh, the head sails stay uh, aloft as we go down when we will use a spinnaker pull or a whisker pull to uh, support the head sail and then we'll drag the mainsail onto the other side and fly what they call wing on wing because the two sails both present to the wind and you can run basically straight down the wind. Here there was a little bit of confusion on the crew. We didn't talk it through before the rounding in, in terms of what sail would be on what side of the boat. Um, so Andy and I started uh, setting up to have the jib on the port side when it needed to be on starboard. So, got to keep talking, folks. Cunningham please, you know. tricky conditions. You can have someone support the boom like Andy's doing here. He's just putting his body weight against it. Um, if there's big seas, that can be a dangerous position to be because if the boat jibes, uh, he's getting tossed, uh, which is no fun. Woo-wee! <laughs> it's like everything's stuck. That's why it's I don't fun. like the, the, what they've done with the short races. Like, it used to be the short race was down and nine and back. So at least you had two up there. You know, portions of the race. So that's really where the, the action's at. You know? This is just a procession. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like the triangle ones. 
Well, it's because people complain that those are a procession. They are. They are always a procession. Yeah. Parade. There's no, uh, you're not tapping, you're always on the beam. So often you could edge onto him. That would be good. Oh, just slow him down. Not not slow him down, but just uh be closer to him just uh, yeah. okay. without losing speed. You just don't want to get loose if they block this thing. No, well, they won't no we'll block, block him. We basically just want to stay on his ass, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because then you then, then there's it's, it's obvious how close we can well, that and uh, if he chooses the shortest part of the line, we choose the shortest part of the line, like we just cover it. And you're, you're actually faster than him right now. So with perf racing, uh, boats are handicapped in some boats. The faster boats owe the slower boats time. Uh, so we only need to be close to Frenzy in order to beat them. Just watch, we're coming up to time. where all the small boats are going to be trying around nine here. Just come up a little more on them, Stan, so that you're like you're in line with them. So you can see it's like a slow motion crawl to the finish. Um, flying a spinnaker is more exciting. We're hopefully going to do that on Scalia right next year. So now we're completely clock blocking him and we should continue to chip away here. Yeah, yeah you're down to two boats. So is this the finish coming up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. I spared you most of that leg. <laughs> it is boring, I know. Point two seven. You gotta be right on them. Possibly past their stern by the time we get there, they're slowing down. Yeah, As you can see there, we have about seven, just over seven knots of breeze, and we can only manage for just over Yeah, four I think knots. he's seeing that same wind shift, right? So, stay behind him. Well, we can only do that if we, if we drive the jib I say over. Go straight. straight. We already have him going straight. Yeah, so. just go straight. Because we're only 0.18 nautical miles. You want to minimize any, uh, Inches ahead of them. Come on, baby. You can see how close we are now. Um, we definitely have them here. See, if I were him, I would have tried them. The committee boat, which uh, helps make up the start finish line, is uh, coming up on the left. Give a horn blast so you know when you cross the line. And uh, they mark down the times, and there you go. On corrected time, Scally Wade won that race. So Here's race nice one. Start.
five feet from the line. Sign of a good skipper as he takes advice from his crew. Particularly when that advice comes from me. Three minutes. Two and a half minutes. I'd start to I'd start to put it in. He's trying to get ahead of Two sixteen. Two minutes. 536 feet. This is good. This is good. I would. I would start. I would. I start to build some speed. Build? I would. All right. Let's build. Let's build. Let's build. We have a fancy computer on board, but there's nothing but like a stopwatch in your eyes to tell you what to do. Minute 10. Fifty-one, fifty. Get it in. Yeah, tight arm. Harden it up. Not all the way though. Ninety-five percent of the way. Thirty-five. On the line if you have to. Yeah. Thirty. Fifteen. Yeah, let's go. Right on it. Right on it. Right on it. So there's two things you're hearing there. One, you're luffing. Uh, and to fall off. So those both, the luffing refers to what the sail is doing relative to the wind and falling off is how you want the boat pointed relative to the wind. So falling off means to present the boat more to the wind uh, and, and that conversely addresses the luffing because it uh, allows the sails to fill and the boat Much speed different to build. End. Definitely moved. Let's take a little of the uh, So, what I just did there is uh, firstly, I let the outhaul a little bit loose, like a couple of inches. And that just lets the main billow out a little bit more. And I took the bang off, um, which just lets the sail right up and introduce right twist. All just trying to Don't find pinch, that pinch. glorious, perfect yeah. sail yeah. shape. No, 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 you're good. Can I drop below him? Yeah, go below. Yeah. Right there. No, 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 stay, just stay with him for now. Yeah, stay with him. Reading his shit right now. Yeah. Yeah. Not much there. Right there. His his wind shadow goes like this, right? So like this whole zone. Yeah. Well, do you want to attack? No. No. Okay. Just cover. Right. 
Oh, right in the stern. No, we don't have enough wind. Look at the main. Yeah, we don't have enough. Sometimes you need to adjust and uh, change plans, especially when you can't point as high as the guy yeah, you're chasing you down. That, that always problem. makes it tough. No, 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 it's okay. Something. Let me get. It's just it shifted a tiny bit. You're shifted. laughing here. Now it shouldn't. You're laughing. You need to gear up a bit. Yeah. Fall off a bit. Fall off. Fall yeah, off. The other fall, fall off. off. Yeah. Okay. Hold there. Hold there. Hold there. Don't don't get crazy. Once it gears up to four, then you can bring it up a bit. But you gotta get the speed back up. All right. Everybody on the low side. We've got quite a bubble on the main here too, I don't know. Low side? I'll bring it up a bit. Our jack line has fallen this again. Uh, oh, still uh, I saw that side. earlier. I thought they were going to hit the hole. There's a flip line. Low side. Okay, there we go. There we go, now we're building so hard to explain uh, how going so slow is so exciting when you're actually doing it. Uh, you guys, you gotta go brace on sailboats. It's so fun. So once again, on this point of sail, our uh, boat speed is essentially matching wind speed. Uh, and that is, that's voodoo magic. Uh, 35 degrees, 10 knots apparent now it's picked up. Feels real good right now. right at mark three. So that's four over there. Remember, four is the target. We're using uh, mark three just as a turning waypoint. Well, when the wind, yeah, just a little bit, not more than 30, but you know, if the wind comes in a bit stronger, you can actually point a little bit closer to the wind so you can speed up again. So we need to level up here. You're really putting something behind some of the shadow right now. This is good though, six knots and a lift. I love it. Yeah, you're passing ahead of in long, so don't worry about that. It's so important uh, to keep your head out of the boat as much as possible. Yes, you need to look at sim uh, the sails for trim and watch your heading. I didn't even look. We said short again, right? Pay attention to the boat is important, but keeping your head out of the boat is also super important. You're looking for wind shifts. You're looking to see what other people are doing. Um, hard to do, hard to remind yourself to do sometimes, but so, so important. Apparent. We're sailing at 30 degrees exactly yeah. right now. So keep it perfect. 
So you'll see us go to the high side most of the time. And the reason you do that is you want as much weight uh, on that side to help the flatten the boat. Flat is fast, as they say. Put a little bit in the bank. This time so we don't stall out the mark. Yeah. Right there. Inclined to say get as close to three as you feel comfortable before you turn. Yeah. You may be wondering why we're constantly straining to find the mark, and that's because they're sometimes more than a mile away. Um, so you know, they're they're not that big, and uh, they're far away. So and we got old, terrible eyes. So uh, you know. bubbling uh, just refers to you being a little bit tax, too high yeah. on it. You need to fall off so it can fill up and you get speed. As soon as you get around the barrel, we're going to tack. Okay, yep. As soon as we pass that barrel. Hold on, hold on. Just look at where the mark is. We might need a little more in the bank. Yep. I, would, I would go on him. Okay. I, I, Raj, I wouldn't take the risk. You see what I mean? Like it's just off the rear quarter now. Yeah, stay fast though. You're slow. Okay, there he goes. We're going. Ready? Ready. Tacking. There you go. See, there's that uh, lesson unlearned again. Uh, tacking when. Uh, a boat that can point higher tax is a mistake. You need a little bit more on this one. When will we learn that lesson? We need fast. What's our apparent wind angle? 35, 38 degrees. Okay. Gear up and then, then point. Just too tight here, Tracy? Oh, it might be. I think you're a little too tight. Like an inch, an inch too tight. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, that's okay there. Okay, this is your angle. We're not making right now. No, we're tight. So in this scenario again, you try to build speed and then gradually try to pinch yeah. your way up. No pinch, otherwise we'll slow like a dog. Yeah. Drop it. Yeah, we feel really slow. Yeah, it's just like that. Yeah, we did. We're um, we need to not copy him. He he got a little bit more. He's packing earlier than we uh, yeah. than we can. Oh, I think the lesson was just learned. Yeah, don't worry about making it. No. Yeah. We'll tack if we got to. Oh, I think he's run into a problem. He's got a problem. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of that. We'll speed up. Here. Take it. Take take all you need. We gotta do two tacks. We'll do two tacks. Oh yeah, I know. You're you're. He made a big mistake here. Keep going. Well, we made the same mistake. So, <laughs> but we're not pinching. He didn't tack it. Now he's tacking. So he was slow to tack this. If we're not slow to tack this, then he didn't have to tack, though. We will. He did, he did go up a little bit, though. Yeah, he went up, but he didn't tack. We are definitely tacking. Yeah, we, we have, have to tack. Boat, that boat is so big that it can recover quickly, right? So the boat we were chasing uh, had to pinch quite dramatically to go around the mark, um, but he could do it, are and we, we couldn't. Right now, or should we tack now? We are six knots right now, so it's pretty decent. 
Alright, let's pack and get out of here. Ready? Ready to pack? Ready? Ready? Let's go. Packing? Yeah, good tack here. Just a moment to admire these beautiful shirts Stan got for the whole team. Uh, look good, feel good, sail good. That's what I say. Good on you, Lori. We, we, we didn't get that right last race. Let's get it right this one. Jive the Genoa yeah. like last time. Yeah. Main's going out. Same basically same pack we did last time. Okay, so we're gonna let loose a bit. Come up, Sam. Here comes the barrel. Okay, fall down. Good to go. Okay, let that loose a bit. Get ready to jive. Around Ready? you. I got that. You go forward now. Okay. I got that. Ready? Hold it. You go forward. Okay. Hold it. Hold, hold it. Good. Don't flex, boo. Yep, we're good. We're good. Not too much, honey. Let that go. Yeah. Let that go. Let that go. There it goes. Not fast, but we get there in the end. Stare. Just fighting that thing that's going off the <laughs> trying to help you. <laughs> How's your racing line? We're right at the committee boat. Uh, oh, you're you wrapped, you're wrapped, you're double wrapped. The uh, Cunningham can come off. Or is it even? Yeah, cutting it from, come on, yep. So this uh, boat of stands has a center board that we raise and lower uh, as part of the upwind downwind. So when we go downwind, we raise the center board uh, to just reduce our wetted surface yeah, and hopefully go faster. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. We got a lot of area Is the cunning off? Yep. And the... Yep, back stays off. There it is. That's it. One eternity later. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, like... Yeah. But we, we would need to drive the the head sold to do that.
towards the end of the second race. Uh, we came in second. Uh, respectable. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we just... A few tactical errors. Uh, other than that, uh, it's hard to keep up with a super fast boat. All right, here's the start of the third. Um, I thought I'd wear my head-mounted camera, but Captain Dum Dum here didn't realize he had it on a time lapse. So apologies for the nauseating effect. Um, it's too bad, actually, because it was a very uh, fun start. Frenzy came right across us and had to do a quick tack right on the line, uh, which you might see here soon. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, it, it'll go back to normal here in a second. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the other thing I'll say about the final race is we were uh, a little looser. <laughs> oh, the 80 year olds are just going to be licking their lips. <laughs> what to send them your underwear? Warm is sexy. <laughs> It looks like we're even off our line from the last race. Like we're we're deeper this time than because we were we were closer to three. So we're getting knocked. Yeah, we are. Everybody's pointing higher than us right now, just so you know. Okay. But you don't want to Well, we can do what they're, those dumbasses are doing. Yeah, I'm changing the speed right now. Here I, I'll pinch in a bit, but it, rather go. I don't know. It's a fine line because because we're going the same speed as him, but he's higher, right? So he's he's gaining on us every every minute we stay on this course. He's he's making on us. Yeah, but he's way closer to the mark than we are. Yeah. I'll just hit 256. Where's the mark? Is that it up there? Yeah, they're, the, the small boats are rounding it. Oh yeah, like look how high that boat is, whatever that is. The J J24 is way up there, right? So Yeah, we gotta go a little ways back. Put a lot in the bank. Yeah, I agree, because the last couple of times we installed right around the bottom. Yeah. Do a better speed, I guess. The more you put the bank, you lose a bit here. But you get better speed now for the yeah, exactly, yeah. Just a bit more here, Stan. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds. All right. Seconds are getting longer, I noticed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know I'm passing by him and I'm pointing at 243. 
I've gained seven degrees. So you're getting lifted, so you do want to stay. Frenzy's going. Yeah, let's go. I oh, well, that, 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 he's before he look. We usually wait past. Look, he did he just double check himself he, on that? He, yeah, I think he did. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's Ready. go. Ready? Talking. Tighten up if you can, tighten up if you can, tighten up if you can. Higher on it, Stan. Let's make it, let's make it. Higher up on it. Let's, pa let, let's pass them on the high side. That's perfect right there. That's perfect. Higher, higher, higher. There. Oh, hello. <laughs> he, he knows. <laughs> A few minutes later. You were standing over there, Paul? Yeah, asymmetric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the last part. Uh, they did another lap. that timing because we got 12 seconds and how many seconds do they owe us 12 seconds every 10 minutes so 30 something seconds uh 36 48 yeah he's not a bit maybe it's four inches Nice. Well done. Well, that was well done, but. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> well, that was a great day of sailing. I got to say that. Good job, Stan. But um, I don't know if we got them on that last one. No, that was tough. It's, it's, but it's bullshit. Like, I. How he got that rating. I know Jamie, when I say to him, he's like, oh, I didn't rate that. <laughs> I already know the answer. Like, come on, let's be realistic here. Well, you want out of the hole? Yes, please. Lori, any last words? Any last words? Uh, no, I'm not. I want to stay safe. Keep it peachy. I don't know about that. All right, let's head in. I'm going to tack. <laughs> 